Okay guys, welcome back. Another day and another little bit of cooking. Now today I am going to be making uh, like a chilli soup. Um, just in case some of the homeless people don't like pumpkin. So the ingredients are, I've got some frozen cauliflower, broccoli and baby carrot mix. I've got some cooked um, pearl barley. Uh, I don't like to put them in raw. I, I like to pre-cook stuff like that. I've got some mixed beans in water. Uh, some lovely um, uh, peas that were frozen. Sweet corn. Uh, broad beans. Some yellow split beans. Some olive oil. Uh, just to get it all cooking. Some vegetable stock some pink Himalayan salt because it's very, very good for you. A bit of, yeah, whatever that is. It's, it's, let me read it. It is, you read it guys because ingredients, black pepper, coriander, ginger, paprika, allspice, cardamom, mace, nutmeg, turmeric, cayenne, cloves, and something else um but basically that would make it nice and uh very warm tasting got some mixed herbs i've also got some fresh parsley not too sure if i will add a lot of that stuff because not everybody likes it really hot i've got some uh paprika and i've got some rosemary Right, let's chop this lot up and get it going. So just while I'm prepping everything, I'm going to put the frozen vegetables on. I've put a little bit of water on um, and I'm just going to let them um, just come to a little bit of a simmer before adding the veg. Okay, so I've cut the red cabbage. Just look at the colour. It's so, so good for you. You know, we all need to eat a variety of colours in our diets because... Um, they have all do different nutrients. Eat a rainbow. Right, I'm now gonna add this to the vegetables. Okay, so that's the cabbage been added to the vegetables and now I'm just gonna bring that to a gentle simmer. Okay, so that's bubbling away nicely. Now I'm going to add some tomato paste. Now my little cameraman isn't here today so I'm gonna have to add the paste and then uh, video. Okay, so that's the tomato puree. Just give it a really good stir in. Then I will add some more water. It's a very, very quick and easy recipe. There's one I'm literally, that's almost finished. I've just got to add the beans. Um, I'm a very slapdash cook. Uh, but this is a very quick and easy and cheap nutritious hearty soup um a very very chunky soup so i've just added the nor stock cube the veg should be suitable for a uh, vegetarian one and um and i've just topped it up with water and i'm just about to add some onion I'm crying, oh my God, they're so strong. Now, people might be thinking, oh my God, why didn't she slice or dice them? To be honest, this is gonna stew for a good hour or so. Um, the onion will separate. Um, and I like, I like to have a bite of onion when it's sweet and yeah. Yes. Rosemary. love rosemary going in with the mixed herbs going in with the paprika now normally i would have fried all the um spices off but uh that would be all right, as I say, because it's it's going to be cooked for so long, the spices will cook out. 
trust me. I'm a slapdash cook. I do this all the time. And I forgot to say, <laughs> this is the main star of it, uh, fajita seasoning. So I'm going to put some in now. Oh my goodness, that smells so yummy. And I'm going to add a tin of tomatoes. I've just added the pearl barley. And a tin of tomatoes with, with like pureed. smells so nice i'm gonna see in a minute oh and i've also forgot the garlic so i'll add that in a minute um i i swear there's some in my cupboard somewhere it's called um liquid smoke and it makes like mexican food just taste as though it's been on the stove for about two years it just makes everything just ah. Oh real deep intense smoky flavor comment down below if you guys have ever heard of it liquid smoke i think they sell it in tesco's now i used to have to buy it from amazon but yeah let me know your thoughts guys if you if you've tried so it just added a few chili flakes and some garlic i think i'm gonna call myself the Shoddy cook. It's the slapdash cook. Okay, so I'm just going to add the rinsed beans. This is a mixed bean um, salad. Uh, me and hubby usually, well, when we work together, we would have a, t a tin of these split between us um you know in a salad with uh plenty of nuts and seeds and uh it was a very very physical job and uh yeah it would keep us going um you know all this myth that oh, we're weeds we're weaklings i think i might actually insert some vegan athletes um and my daughter is very athletic um she swims every day uh she eats like a horse but it's all very very healthy food um and there's no way she'd be able to maintain her amount of exercise um if she didn't have the stamina so uh very proud of you rubes you're welcome okay i believe we are there it's bubbling along nicely the, I can't wait to eat the artichoke and the olives. Um, it just smells incredible. Right, I'm going to dish some up. Okay, and this is it dished up. Let's try an olive. I absolutely love fresh parsley. That's burnt my mouth. Oh, that <laughs> did actually burn my mouth. Yeah, okay, so I've just had a mouthful now. Now I'll let it cool down a bit. It is absolutely delicious. It's smoky. Um, it's got a rit, and I think that's down to the smoked paprika. I couldn't find the, um, oh, what did I say it was called? Liquid smoke. Um, it's just, yeah, it's comfort food. Um, so, yeah. This will be offered also to the homeless people. Um, obviously, I'm making it now and I'm freezing it and uh, defrosting it the night before. Um, so, yeah, love it. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we will speak again very soon. Adios, amigos.